Hello guys, welcome back to Edimos Vlogs where I take you to unforgettable journeys across Africa and beyond. In this episode, I'll be sharing the thrilling adventure my friend and I embarked on from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. Let's dive in. Our adventure began in the heart of Nairobi as we embarked on the overnight train to Kisumu. And this wasn't just any train, we traveled in the first class. A few days before this day, we had booked our train tickets and each ticket was 2,000 Kenya shillings. So here is, I brought this, but there's, there's a sink here. Nice water. So I can brush my teeth here and maybe wash my face. Oh, I don't know if the water is safe for drinking. Yeah. So, so this place you can use it as a workstation. The thing I like about first class, apart from the privacy and the space, is this charging port. As the train snaked its way through the bustling streets of Nairobi, we prepared for a relaxing evening ahead. One of the parts of this train journey was the onboard restaurant. Look at this delicious Kenyan cuisine. The food on board was quite affordable and delicious. We had a long journey ahead of us, so we had to make sure we were full before going to bed. The ambience here was so cool, it felt like we were here in a classic movie scene. And the best part, falling asleep to the gentle rocking of the train. After a peaceful night, we woke up to stunning views of Kisumu landscape. Having breakfast on board as the sun rose was something magical. We arrived in Kisumu bright and early at around 7 am. Then we caught a border border to the main Matatu terminal in Kisumu. The adventure continued. However, so much was going to happen from this point. The Matatu ride from Kisumu to the Sirare Isebania border was quite an experience. It was supposed to be a quick trip, but our ride turned into a 5 hour saga with endless stops. But hey, it was all part of the adventure. I think we stopped more times than we moved. If this Matatu had frequent flyer miles, would be platinum by now. Finally, after 6 hours, we made it to the border. But little did we know, the real adventure was just beginning. Just at the border, we got scammed by the money exchange guys. This was not the way we meant to start our adventure. But we were starting to just learn and be prepared for the journey ahead. Before leaving Nairobi, we had done some intensive research about the best bus to take from this point. Zakaria bus was the most recommended and it was what we took. From Sirare to Mwanza, the journey was long but the beautiful Tanzanian landscape kept us captivated. From the lush green hills to the bustling towns, every moment was a visual treat. This bus journey cost us 20,000 Tanzanian shillings per person. There was a two-hour stop at Tarime, which was quite boring, 
but anyway, this is part of the journey. The landscapes was breathtaking. I felt like Tanzania was welcoming us with open arms and stunning views. After a long yet exciting journey, we arrived in Mwanza at 10 pm. The city greeted us with its shimmering lights and vibrant energy. We were so tired because we had been traveling for almost 24 hours. There we were in Mwanza, known as Rock City. We couldn't wait to explore more the next day. Thanks for joining us on this first leg of our journey. Stay tuned fellow adventurers, this was just the beginning of our incredible journey to Cape Town. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe.